Hi there, welcome to another Mono Game screencast. Um, today we're just going to give you a brief preview of uh, some of the stuff we're working on, um, specifically the cross platform content pipeline. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is a uh, replacement for the XNA content pipeline that you can currently only use on Windows, um, but we're designing it for uh, not only Windows but also Linux and Mac uh, developers as well. So what we're going to do today is just show you a preview of uh, some of the stuff that we've actually got working. Um, this is going to take place on a Linux box and we're going to be showing off the integration between our uh, command line content builder uh, which we've designed from the ground up to be a command line application so if you want to use it in the build process you can do that or in and off on a build server um, you can do that or, uh, and it's also integrated into the designer so you can actually create a, a new XNA project or a mono game project within mono develop and then um, add your assets to that project and then set them as, as mono game content and it will compile them and optimize them for the platform that you're targeting so let's have a quick look at uh, mono develop running so this is mono develop uh, first thing we'll do is we'll just uh, create a new Want a game for the Linux application? I'll call it Content Builder Test. Just drop it in the project directory. Okay, the first thing we'll do um, this is just a bog standard project, so we'll just build it uh, and then run it up. We should get a, uh, a nice cornflower blue screen. There we go. Just uh, switch over to use uh, window mode rather than full screen, just so we can see it a little bit better. We'll just run that up again. There we go. Okay, the next thing we'll do is just add a new content file. So we'll just go and pick a graphic. Let's pick the Mono Game logo for now. Okay, now if we look at the properties page, we'll see we've, there's a whole bunch of new properties. The first thing you'll notice is the, uh, just move that across there, uh, the build action is mono game content. Uh, this flags that thing to be, that particular item to be processed as the content uh, pipeline. We've also got uh, an importer and a processor section, uh, which will allow you to set uh, the type of importer to use for uh, that asset and also the processor to use because um, obviously there's lots of different importers so you could an importer uh, will, will import particular file formats and then the processor will actually process that into optimized content that will be output as an XMB file so as you can see in the mono game section there's um, there are those two properties that you can actually play with so now that we've set that up let's go and do a build and that's built successfully and let's go and have a look at the output folder so if we go into the content folder there's the PNG file that we originally had but now if we go into the bin debug folder content there's the XNB that we produced so if we want to make use of that now just declare a texture 2D call it logo and we'll go down to the load content method and actually load that through the content pipeline. So uh, we've got to make sure that we uh, use the correct uh, casing on our files here because obviously we're on a case sensitive uh, operating system. Uh, and now we just need to use the sprite patch to actually draw this particular asset. Draw the logo. Okay, and that's just about all the code that we need to do. Let's get that right. So if we build that again. And run it. We should see the logo on the screen. 
Now that's actually come from, uh, that's been compiled by our content builder. That's where it's converted it from a PNG file into uh, an optimized XMB file. Um, and then we've actually loaded that through the standard mono game content pipeline, which is uh, exactly the same as the XNA content pipeline. Okay, so there we go. Um, that's just a brief preview of what we're actually been working on, um, and hopefully that will be out within the next couple of months. Uh, we're currently working on lots of new content processors and content importers. Uh, the basic framework is there, so um, we'll just continue working on those. If you'd like to chip in, just um, go along to monogame.net and uh, help us make Monogame the best cross-platform game development environment that you can get. Thanks for listening.